Dinosauromorphs appeared during the Middle Triassic, spitting from other ornithodeers, such as pterosaurs. It is believed that Lagosicus was transitional between cold-blooded reptiles and warm-blooded dinosaurs. It was likely an agile predator that could use speed to chase its prey and to escape larger predators. Saltipus is near the base of the dinosaur lineage, suggesting that it may represent the closest relative of true dinosaurs. It was about the size of a domestic cat, contrary to the original description, it was established that the sacrum was made up of two vertebrae, the primitive ancestral condition, not four. The exact classification of Pisanosaurus has been the topic of debate by scientists for over 40 years, so scientists have begun to consider it a non-dinosaurian celesaurid. The Ischigalasto formation where it lived was a volcanically active floodplain covered by forests, with a warm and humid climate. Celesaurids consist of the closest known relatives of dinosaurs. As indicated by coprolite contents, some celesaurids such as Celesaurus may have been insectivorous. It lived in a subtropical environment similar to the modern Mediterranean basin with alternating summer monsoons and dry winters. Acelosaurus indicates a possible earlier development of dinosaurs back to the mid-Triassic rather than the late Triassic. This also helps to establish the point of origin of dinosaurs as around South America and Africa during the Triassic. When first described, Guayibasaurus was considered to be a potential theropod dinosaur, the later a primitive sauropodomorph. The neck of a specimen was curved toward the left side of the body. The posture of this skeleton is similar to the resting position of birds. During the late Triassic dinosaurs played only a minor role in terrestrial life, Staurikosaurus was a small but active bipedal predator, that preyed on small and medium-sized terrestrial vertebrates, its legs show it was a fast runner. It is usually depicted with five toes and five fingers, very simple features of an unspecialized dinosaur. Paleontologists have concluded that Herrerasaurus was a carnivore, but it was probably not the apex predator of its ecosystem. It has been classified as an early theropod or an early Sariscian. However, the phylonetic tree used here show in the beginning of the video a weak support in the sister grouping of a Dinosauria and Herrerasauria, but show strong support in the dictomy between Sauropodomorpha and Ornithoscelida. Some paleontologists even think that dinosaurs don't really exist, suggesting that these giant creatures aren't all related. Panphagia is one of the earliest known dinosaurs, and is an important find which may mark the transition of diet in early sauropodomorph dinosaurs. Its teeth indicate a possible omnivorous diet. The Cadontosaurus is sometimes placed in a very basal position among the sauropodomorph dinosaurs. It was earlier included under the prosauropoda, but more recently it has been suggested that it preceded the prosauropod-sauropod split. Unosaurus is one of the most complete dinosaur skeletons ever recovered in Brazil. Like most early dinosaurs, it was relatively small, and walked on two legs. Despite the great quantity and excellent quality of the fossil material, Platyosaurus was for a long time one of the most misunderstood dinosaurs. It was a bipedal herbivore, but this dinosaur didn't possess any teeth that were capable of grinding plant material. Some people speculate that it may have swallowed stones, known as gastroliths, that would help it grind down the plant material in its stomach.
Lufungosaurus had much longer hind limbs than forelimbs and was probably bipedal. It had sharp claws and teeth, these features have been used to support claims that it may have been at least partially omnivorous, but the sharp teeth are similar to those seen in Iguanian lizards, which are herbivorous. Alternatively, the claws may have been used for defense or raking foliage from trees. Though only known from a few hind limb bones, these are enough to identify Glacialosaurus as a massospondylid sauropodomorph dinosaur. The discovery of Glacialosaurus is important to the study of the early distribution of sauropod dinosaurs. The presence of this primitive sauropodomorph in the Hansen formation shows that both primitive and advanced members of this lineage existed side by side in the early Jurassic period. Many Sariscian dinosaurs possessed vertebrae and ribs that contained hollowed-out cavities, which reduced the weight of the bones and may have served as a basic flow-through ventilation system similar to that of modern birds. Massospondylus grew steadily throughout its lifespan and may have cared for its young. Cetod holotype was buried in a landslide from a collapsing sand dune, and hence this is the inspiration for the genus name. As a facultative biped, Anchisaurus had to have multipurpose front legs. As hands, they could be turned inwards and be used for grasping. It had a simple reversible first finger, similar to a thumb. Due to its primitive appearance, Anchisaurus was previously classified as a prosauropod, but it now known to be closer to sauropods. Digesting plant matter is a much more intensive biochemical process than digesting meat. This herbivore swallowed gastroliths to help break down the food in its stomach. Musaurus receives its name from the small size of the skeletons of juvenile and infant individuals, which were once the only known specimens of the genus. However, since it is now known from adult specimens, the name is something of a misnomer. Adults possibly reached 6 meters in length. A herbivore from South Africa, Melanorosaurus had a large body and sturdy limbs, suggesting it moved about on all fours. Its limb bones were massive and weighty, like sauropod limb bones. Lessomsaurus is only based upon the description of vertebrae. These vertebrae are noted for having tall neural spines, something which may hint at a fleshy or fatty ridge than ran down the back of the living dinosaur. <laughs> 